Hi Cancer. Okay, for, so first off, we're going to look at um, your energies at the moment, what is going on for your Cancer. And then we are going to, um, well, during the reading, we're going to look at what it is that needs to um, happen for you to be able to get through whatever it is that is going on for you. So we're using the Cosmic Reading Cards and also the Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, welcome to my channel, Cancer. I'm Juanita. Um, when I was pre-shuffling your cards, um, nothing would come out at all. And I really felt like there's something that you're holding back on. Um, kind of like internalizing, I suppose, like really, um, I want to say defensive, but not in an outward way, more internally, if you like, but yeah, um, so that might relate for some of you, but let's get into this, I have um, done some cards from the Cosmic Reading deck, because I tell you what, I'm glad I did, because if I had been doing that shuffling, we would have been here for 10 minutes before anything came out. I am not kidding you. It took that long. So yeah. Um, okay, so the first card here we have is Celebration. Okay, and um, this here, Cancer, is about celebrating your achievements. And what I feel like is that there was something uh, that you were birthing, okay, that you were looking at uh, creating, and, and I feel like there's been progress in that, and you know, Cancer, it might not be a massive amount of progress, okay, it could be a small amount of progress, okay, but celebrate those achievements anyhow. Um, the other thing that is just coming through for me is that some of you have created something and it could very well be that it didn't turn out the way that you quite wanted um, and you are disappointed with that. But it's really important to celebrate what it was that um, you achieved, okay? I'm just going to, I feel like that card that came up here, suppression, look at this. It just jumped out at me. It didn't, I like them to kind of fly out, but that just grabbed me and I heard take it. So we are. Um, I kind of feel like in a sense that there's this um, shame. There's the shame about something that has um, gone on, maybe something that wasn't quite achieved or didn't pan out the way you envisioned and you're feeling embarrassed about it maybe. You don't want anyone to see that it's failed or the other thing cancer could be that there's something that is in the works that you're holding to yourself okay because you are worried about people shaming you mm. it's really interesting because when I was meditating on your energy I just felt this whole heap of love for you and at first I thought that that was from you but then I actually felt like it needed to be given to you I am going to take this look at this the outsider feeling shut out right yes see cancer this is like looking at this door that is now locked it's finished whatever has gone on has finished and you're still looking through the gate going um you know is anything else going to happen like like, you know, waiting for the door to unlock, but the thing is you've actually got to turn around and walk away because there's heaps of other ways, um, heaps of other paths and heaps of other avenues that you're not seeing because you're too busy looking through the locked gate. Okay. Also, I want to say that this could be something that's stemming from your childhood. It could be bringing up a lot of um, issues for you right now that uh, need to be worked on, okay? Just with that child there, it kind of makes me feel like that's the case. Anyway, let's have a look here. Surrender. Yeah. Um, it really is about letting go. Letting go, um, it kind of like, um, how do I put it? 
and not fighting the flow of life in a sense yeah so um really allowing yourself to accept what has happened okay um yeah because the um it's really about accepting that what has happened has happened accepting that what is is type of thing okay and um yeah because it feels like there will be a big burden lifted off you if you do that i can feel quite a lot of anxiety and um tension in this area here and i feel as though you need to take some time to really just breathe breathe it out honestly and also, um, it feels like there could be some kind of suppressing, like trying to push it down. Like, you know, you don't want to feel that way, so you're pushing it down. But in fact, you need to allow it to come up, okay, because it's not um, helping you. And it's stagnant energy when you do that, okay. Anything for surrender here for cancer? What's this one? Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt, yes, so just surrender to whatever is happening, as ugly as it may be, and as potentially traumatic as it may be for you right now, I can really feel that whatever is going on, that was a heap of cards, too many to take, is, it's not fun, and that is clearly why I felt that intense love for you, so as I'm doing this reading, I'm holding that in my heart for you, Cancer, because you really need it right now. Two cards. I don't want two cards. I only want one. One for cancer, please. Just one. Thank you. Hmm. Holding things close to your chest, right? <sighs> Not wanting to show your cards. There's something you're hiding or something you really don't want people to see. And it could very well be. It's Well, it, you know, it could be that things haven't gone the way you wanted or you're building it and you don't want anyone to see yet. Okay. Um, it, it, but it's about, do you know what? It's about not sharing um, what it is that you've learned um, it could also be cancer about not sharing what's going on for you and holding that within and just keeping it to yourself and you actually need to share it, you need to share the burden because it's becoming too heavy, okay, but there's this also that what is jumping out at me is um, there's this building of walls around you as a protection to protect what it is that you have built and it's not serving you, okay, it's actually working against you right now so you need to open up, okay, really open up and um, and that will help you to expand further, okay, and the next card here we have is balance, hopefully there's not too much of a glare on there and you can actually see that, okay, so this is really about um, looking at what is going on on the outside for you and what is happening on the inside, okay, um, because it seems like there's um, your outside world is a reflection of what's happening internally for you. Okay, so if there are things going on, everything's chaotic on the outside of you, that's what is happening internally, okay, because we can attract, um, you know, our vibration, whatever is being um, radiated out, will bring back to us what is, you know, what that is. I know I didn't put that the right way, but I hope you know what I mean. Um, the other thing with this cancer is that you could be looking after other people and worrying about whatever has gone on here, worrying about the impact of, on them and taking care of them, okay? Which, um, and, and, you know, that that's understandable, but I want to say, Cancer, to make sure that you're also taking care of yourself as well. Okay, and really looking at why it is that you feel the need to take care of everyone else before you take care of yourself. Because there's something there that could be lacking within you. It's like you have to prove yourself in a sense. And um, 
in, in looking at why it is that you feel you need to do that, why is it that you so desperately need that approval and that acceptance or that um, that you need to prove your ex you know that there's a reason for your existence right there's something going on and, and again I keep looking at this little child here at the gate um, and it really feels like that's been with you for quite a long time so let's have a look further into balance here for you cancer what's balance give us more on balance for cancer And, you know, Cancer, I also feel like it really is um, a matter of taking time out to meditate and go within into your heart space. Feel these feelings that are so uncomfortable and ugly to feel. Look at this courage. Yes. You see, this is very much like the celebration card. And it's really interesting when this popped out. It did remind me of this. So it's not surprising this has come out. Um, at the moment... What it feels like is that you are in this, you're in this, you're like a seed here, right, in the darkness, and you can't quite see, you know, how everything's going to come to light, but I'm here to assure you that it will. These things that are coming up here um, for you to work on, Cancer, are what is going to help you grow and blossom, okay? The more you suppress how you are feeling right now, the less growth is going to happen because the thing is that things happen in our lives um, which are there to challenge us, which helps us grow and learn. And unfortunately, they're often not the most pleasant experiences in the world. Experiencing, <laughs> look at that, experiencing really um, trying to embrace whatever it is that you're experiencing. And I'm drawn back to this thing that I was saying before about the emotions, experiencing the emotions rather than trying to suppress them. The other thing I want to say with this is, is get out in nature, okay? Um, give yourself some time out to go and let nature nurture you, okay? The way you deserve to be nurtured. Because right now, I feel like there's so much within you, there needs to be a release and, and kind of like going out into na nature is going to let you just, oh, I don't know, just dump it in a sense. Um, the next card we have here is Limitless. Now, um, this here is really about your limiting beliefs right um really looking at it at what it is that you are doing or thinking that is inhibiting you okay um it feels like you're kind of like your your arms are tied like everything's tied up and it's not you're not able to express or release okay and um and I feel as though these walls here that you've built around you are now limiting you. Once upon a time, they protected you. And there was a reason for those walls. You know, sometimes when we are starting out and building something, you know, there's, we'll put it this way, it's just jumping into my mind, there's a reason why copyright exists, right? Let's face it. So it could very well be, it could be that you've had some idea or something stolen from you that you now feel a need to protect yourself, um, you know, and that could have happened a while ago. And the thing is that protecting yourself now is not going to help, okay? Um, and it really is about feeling what it is that you felt because it's as though you've wrapped this um, kind of like this bubble wrap around you or this cotton wool around you to protect your, yourself um, and now you can't do anything because you're so it, it's you know kind of entrapped you in a sense okay so I would take some time to rest and start to see how it is because at the moment it feels like this is your outer world okay this is your outer world here um, and this is what needs to happen here because this outer world is happening.
because that's what's in the inner world. What you need to do is make the inner world a lot more colourful. Look at your beliefs. Look at what you are thinking. What, look at what you are telling yourself every day that are not serving you. Okay, colour up your life. Start being gentle with yourself and being kind to yourself so that this can actually start to colour your outside world. Okay? Hmm. Really interesting. And, um, and I do feel a lot like this is internal. Very internal. And it's, it's weighing you down, you know? And we're in control of our own thoughts. No one else can control that. No one else has any power over our thoughts whatsoever. Trust. Trust that you can achieve this. Trust in yourself. Okay, have faith in yourself, Cancer, and know that, yeah, I'm kind of wondering if for some of you there is an opportunity that you could um, take a leap uh, towards and you're scared and you don't trust the process anymore because you've been burned in the past. But the thing is, Cancer, it's important to remember that you've also, even if you have been burned in the past, you also um, now can do things differently because you've learned from the past okay so take those lessons and learn from them rather than let them hold you back integrity yes this is exactly what i was saying right break the patterns that are no longer serving you okay um it, it seems like your fear, fears are really overwhelming you right now and i want to say that the um your ego you, you're incredibly judgmental about yourself and you're letting your ego rule and your ego is not in charge and you need to take charge and that's really about those toxic thoughts going on you can't do that what do you think you're doing you did that before and now you're trying it again how stupid why would you do that you know um and this is so this is really important for you to start to get a hold of those thoughts and all that that's swimming around in you and those emotions start to bring them out into the light shed light on them you know um yeah just not letting them rule you anymore like they have been because it is i know i feel like i'm repeating myself they are not serving you these things yes turning in stopping all this chatter all these outside voices and even if these outside voices are people on the external telling you just going within into your heart space and feeling it out okay um and then you can calm these emotions here the one thing i want to say is these three cards although i haven't gone on to the third card yet but i just have to point it out right now is look at all these here you've got the light in the heart space this here in the heart space and this here in the heart space i feel as though your heart center needs to be um, balanced and you need to um, maybe get some Reiki for that okay or even have a look on YouTube for something to clear that heart center because um, it just feels like you you know part of this turning in as well is going into this heart space okay and really um, quietening your mind in order for you to go within to see what the next step is for yourself because I feel like nothing is quite clear for you at the moment okay all you can think of is what happened in the past and um, that's stopping you from moving forward into your future okay so one more for integrity for cancer thought that was going to jump out then but it didn't <laughs> One more for integrity. Looking for the best one. There we go. Schizophrenia. In two minds. You're in two minds. You're hanging in the balance. You feel very vulnerable right now. But what is happening is that, again, it's stopping you from flying. Notice these. Look, this is where um, my thought process is coming from. This person here is hanging here, right? These birds here are flying. Now, if this person wants to get up and start to fly, well, not literally, but you know what I mean, but wants to move forward, there's no way that it can, that they can, while they're hanging in the balance here, okay? So you have to make a decision and go for it. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. 
then you try the other way. You know you're allowed to fail. It's okay to fail. That's how you learn. Okay? Mirrored souls. So with this one here is that there might be people around you really irritating you right now. <laughs> okay? But understand that people mirror us. Okay, so if there's someone really annoying you, look at those things that are annoying you and have a look within yourself because often these things are, um, are there to show us what it is that we need to work on. Okay, um, and, and I really feel like this is you connecting in with you, with your... Um, you know, with your masculine and feminine, to be honest with you, I feel like um, there's been some issues with your self-worth and with loving yourself because of whatever has happened in the past, regardless of what that may be, it's time to accept yourself now, okay, it really is time to, for you to start just loving yourself for who you are. And whatever went on has happened, okay? And you need to just let yourself, um, you know, just like the surrender card said before, just surrender to it, accept what is, yeah? Goodness me, that's so many cards there. Just breathe, cancer, breathe. Okay, mirrored souls. Can we have two cards? Okay, going with the flow. Just allowing what is to go with the flow. This is also the beginning of a new emotional cycle. Um, so, yeah, just, you know, stop the, not, not resisting life and flowing with life. Yeah, it's like trying to swim up a... Um, a, a river, you know, rapids, it's, it's, you're going to, you know, get nowhere, right, walking up an escalator backwards, you're not going to get anywhere, yeah, um, okay, so new vision, looking at what it is, breaking out of the old box, looking at what it is that you can bring in, okay, and do that differently, do that new, you know, get yourself excited, and get yourself inspired if you have to watch videos to inspire you, whatever. Just do that, you know, start changing what it is that has been going on for you so that you can break free, okay? Next card here is let go. Yeah, see, this is everything that I've been saying. But, you know, this is really, letting go is such a, a spiritual, it's a, a mental process, it's an emotional and physical process. It's not just, oh, oh, just let it go. Not at all. It is a process, right? Um, and I feel like there's been things that you've been clinging to and holding on to for a really long time, and it is suppressing you. I, I, I know I keep saying it from moving forward. I do just feel like that's all I've said this entire time. But, um, you know, it, it really is, honestly, cancer, about bringing that up, feeling those horrible, uncomfortable emotions. Wow, did you see that? Like, hello? Oh, my gosh. You never believe it. Letting go. Letting go. Like, let go. What, you know, whatever you've, um, it hasn't worked out for you, really letting it go, going through that mental process, Every time it pops up in your head, you're not welcome here. Every time you feel an emotion about it, feel it. Let it rise up because your emotions are coming up to be released. Okay? They're not coming up to irritate you. They're coming up to be released. I have to take these three. Existence. Tuning into nature. Tuning into what is. Knowing who you truly are. Knowing that you're part of all the bigger picture. You are worthy of being here and your existence in itself, you are, are worthy of existing just because just cause you're here, just because you're a cancer. That's it. You don't need to prove anything otherwise, okay? And you have the ability, you have everything you need to rise up from the ashes here. You have all the tools. You know what to do, but you're holding yourself back, okay? Shadow self, yeah, 
looking at those parts of yourself that you do not like, okay, challenges are sent to to clear and cleanse us, okay? So if there's lots of um, challenging things going on for you right now, um, or there's this old stuff here that is, is constantly just nagging at you to be addressed, address it, okay? Because that's what that shadow is. All those things that we try to hide, right? Those things we try to hide actually need to be brought to the light, just for ourselves okay um so that we can actually address them all right because otherwise they end up um just becoming that big burden receptivity i feel like getting everything into balance being receptive to help if you need to go and get assistance with this definitely do so okay um and trying something new you know Trying to do things a different way because at this stage, things that you've been doing may not have worked. So try some, try to do something differently, yeah? Try to take a different path and be receptive and open to what that might be, okay? So let's have a look. Shadow self, one more card for shadow Okay, two more cards then. I'm going with it, Cancer. I'm going with it. First off, we have mind. This is all this stinking thinking in your mind. Yeah? Um, not, uh, and also what is coming out of your mouth. How do you speak about yourself? Do you put yourself down? Do you say you can't do that? You know, really looking at what that is creating because the foundation, you know, whatever it is that is coming out in your mind is rocking your foundation here and the foundation is not solid. So if you're going to start something, make sure that foundation is solid with positivity, clear thinking, good thinking, you know, and use your emotions for that. Do they, um, do they, you know, what, whatever it is that you are saying, does it make you feel good or does it make you feel, you know, crap? Okay, so really using your emotions as a guidance system. Okay, um, the other thing I want to say about that though is anything new that you're going to try is going to be scary. So don't let that put you off. <laughs> okay, so, and this is going to lead to abundance here, okay? Just chilling on the magic carpet because you did the work, yeah? And the thing is, Cancer, that we need to do the work, okay? But the thing is, is that you also have the strength to do it, okay? You have this inner strength, okay? So you need to release that resistance and your fears, accept your current state at the moment, accept that what has gone on has gone on and you know have that you know draw on your core strength draw on your inner badass you know draw on that stop trying to allow your ego to control you because your ego is not in charge, your mind is not in charge, you can control your mind, believe it or not, okay, so this is super important for you, so let's just have a look if there's any cards here for strength for cancer, two cards, wow, fighting, I feel like this is internal fighting for you, having the suit of armour here, right, and this is too heavy, it's not allowing you to move forward, Okay, so you've got to take the armour off. It's like you're battling a battle that doesn't need to be fought. Okay, you can walk away from that battle. Okay, it's kind of like the, the, the fight is happening because you're giving it power. You're giving it your energy. And that's why it, um, you know, and it keeps fueling it. Okay, so just take a step back. Not doing that anymore. And you're doing something differently okay, because this is also resisting life as well, yeah, um, and understanding, understanding, having understanding for yourself, just like you would with anyone else that you're trying to help, you don't give that back to you, why not cancer, you're worth it, right, understanding that you have the ability to fly, that everyone else that you prop up and allow to fly, that needs to be given to you, Okay, because you are more than deserving of that and it is your time 
to step out of the cage and fly. So stop keeping yourself in there, okay? With these walls that you're building up that you believe protect you, they no longer are, okay? Okay, Cancer, I will leave that with you. I do hope that's helped you. And um, please, please, please be gentle with yourself. Be loving with yourself, okay? Work with your inner child and love your inner child because ultimately that's what you need to do here. Okay, Cancer, thank you. See you, bye-bye.